I want to take a second here because this is kind of crazy news. It's weirdly something probably a lot of people were expecting, but also wouldn't expect and definitely would have never expected like six months ago. Also, did you know that 74% of you aren't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button down below. What do you hate things? Have fun. But the pissed core master, the up next core band known as Throne has reached over a million monthly listeners on Spotify with 17 and a half minutes of music. All right. Over a million monthly listeners on Spotify with a runtime of less than most EPs of their discography. And it's all bangers. That's the thing. And the reason I want to talk about this, because I've talked about Throne before. I've talked about kind of how they've been growing and blowing up with just a few songs. Like, I'm not going to do it again. You guys can watch my other video regarding that. But I want to discuss why this is something that's fucking cool. Number one, besides the fact that people asking, oh, this, that, or complaining, it's eight songs, or it's bots, or all this. Number one, I'm going to state the obvious. This band is sick. Also, Buster in himself is a god. If any musician in the modern metal scene has proved himself to be worthy of a larger, and I'm larger for metal, right? A million monthly listeners. Larger project, it's Buster. Valjarta, humanity's last breath, everyone can shut the f up. That's future music. That's music from 2035. And yeah, in, in, in Valjarta, you know, Cal is doing a lot of the stuff too. He has last breath, as far as I know, is basically just Buster. Mixing production, he's working with all the bands. So without anything else being said, just to start this off, Buster is a dude in the scene who is killing it. There's something called Bustercore as a genre. And absolutely deserved for him, but not only him, the band themselves too. Because every song is a fucking ripper. And like I said, I want to take a second to talk about this because it's not just a big feat of, okay, a r new band that can hit a million monthly listeners, but of how they do it with the Up Next Core. <laughs> I'm joking. With this idea of short songs, like the longest song on here is two and a half minutes. Sure, there's maybe a couple things that play. I've talked about this like again at my previous video. Maybe discovery mode is fucking cranked on, which every band is using now, by the way. So don't like be like, oh, this. I don't think it's botting or any of that. What I think is happening is they have short songs that have a lot, uh, what's the word for it I'm looking for? Um, retention. Just like on YouTube, if you are a YouTuber and your videos have insane retention, meaning that dependent on the length of the song, the percentage that people are listening to the whole song, in any algorithm nowadays, basically, the algorithm says people are fucking with this. And the thing about songs like this is they fuck, and most of the time you don't even know it's done. So these bit like Throne, I'm assuming, and I don't know what the retention numbers on their song is, like their average retention, but I would assume that they are absolutely fucking most modern metal bands in terms of retention and, and time that people are listening to each song percentage-wise, because the songs are so short and they're bangers. So algorithmically, obviously just that in itself is getting pushed to a lot of people because the Spotify algorithm, just like the YouTube algorithm and every other fucking robot nowadays, says, hey, people watch whole thing. People listen to whole thing. People like. We give to more people. Because you got to understand all of these platforms, YouTube, Spotify, like uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, their goal is to keep people on their platform for as long as possible. That's it. Like a lot of people blame the algorithm, especially fucking YouTubers. And again, I'm kind of combining YouTube with Spotify and they're separate things completely, but it's in terms of algorithms, like it has that overlapping factor, right? I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, no one watches my stuff anymore. Oh my God, man, the, the algorithm. I hate the algorithm. No, guess what? You fucking suck now. Oh my God, solved your problem. Shit didn't get views because no one gave a f Oh my God, that's how it goes. They want all these you know, platforms want people to stay on their platform longer. So they actually want to feed people content. They don't want to make it so people don't see your content. It's the opposite. They want to feed people your content more, but they want to feed people what they deem as good content. And good content has nothing to do with the quality of the content. It has to do with how much people are watching, clicking when they see it and engaging with it. That's how it goes. 
So, to diverge from my uh, um, YouTube rant of, of getting mad at people complaining as, as YouTubers as always, it's uh, on Spotify, it's a similar thing, you know? People are just playing the whole songs, not even knowing they're fucking finished, and it auto plays the next one, and they're like, I guess I'll listen to it. It's a great format to get a lot of plays and to make Spotify want to send these songs to a lot of people. Now, are they pairing that with Discovery or whatever the fuck? Maybe they should be actually. <laughs> They, every band should be using discovery mode. Fuck you, Spotify, for making discovery mode, by the way. And that's how it goes. They're a band with that, you know, they're a band with only eight songs, but every, all of these eight songs, these 17 minutes of music are getting played in totality because they're spending time, even though these are short songs, they make sure every song is a single banger. Why would they just release an album? You know how off, awful an idea that would have been? is if they released one of these songs or two of these songs and the rest were just on a fucking album they threw out, they wouldn't have anywhere near this number. They'd have like 20,000 monthly listeners or 50,000. It's stupid. And this ties into my bigger point of what I'm talking about here is the new age and new way that people consume music. Albums still exist. They'll always exist. People like albums, but less people give a fuck about albums. People just want a good song. People consume music through playlists nowadays more than an album because albums aren't perfect. And a lot of bands waste time on making their albums and then they leave like two songs that are sh and then people don't care. They just want to add the favorite songs from the album to their playlist. So they go to the gym or they work out or they're at work and that's it. That's how a lot of people are utilizing stuff. And of course, through um, you know, shorts and all of that and through TikTok and content creation, also pushing all this music and all that sh that's its own beast, shall you say, of consumerism and promoting music and it getting more out there and how people consume it and utilize music now as, as, an, as an emotion. They utilize it as an emoji, as in a reply, right? Before we'd be on MSN and we re we'd reply with, um, with, with the random uh, emojis or shaking someone's screen. Now people talk and discuss through music, which is actually a really cool thing, but it can be very cringe at the same time because we're going to check it out on TikTok today and you'll understand that very deeply. I think it's just, this is how people consume music, a lot of them nowadays. It's just, you know, in the metal scene particularly because obviously the pop scene and all that, they've been doing this forever. You know, the metal scene's always like five years behind. That's why, like, why are Throne? Why don't you have a record yet? Why would they have a fucking record? Why do they need a record? Why? So they can have four extra songs that no one cares about because they weren't singles? and they weren't given the love that they deserve, they don't need a fucking record. They're just gonna release a song probably for the rest of their life and just go for it. And it goes hard, it's good. They take time, every song's a full, they has a chorus even though it's just pissed. Banger, you finish this. I almost finished this entire e thing just through the starting su soon screen today. So that's the thing when bands release singles, people take time to listen to the single because it's special. There's a music video. It's been given that love. So it's just, that's the thing. Hot take, can't stand when artists drop a few songs to release a new album and then 70% of the album is just songs you've already heard. I mean, yes, but you guys gotta understand on the artist perspective too. Artists, look at this, you, you know, think of it like this. You're a band. You spend two years making the, you're the best music you've ever made. All this music. And then, oh my God, it's finished. It's mixed, all these songs. And you're gonna release them, people can hear them and you release a first single with an album announcement. The album's coming out a month later. And you release another single to help promote that. Album's out, it has 11 songs. People listen to the singles, and then 20% of that audience like listens to the rest of the album. It's sad. As a musician, you know how sad that is? It's so sad. When you put equal amount of love into every song, and some artists don't, they just put random bullshit on an album. And you know that only the things deemed a sing only the things thrown out as a single will actually people will care about. That sucks. That's a sh feeling as an artist nowadays. So I, I don't think bands are like, bands are still gonna make records for sure. When you build a fan base, strong fans, the majority will be probably love. Yes, so if you get to a point where you're such a big band, like you see all these rappers, they don't do singles. You know what their singles are? A whole album because there's so much hype it actually does the inverse effect that nobody listens to a specific song the whole album is a song like rappers just come out of nowhere and drop a whole mixtape it's a whole different world but metal 
it doesn't work. Metal bands aren't big enough to make that happen because there's not no, none of that hype where the whole world's talking about it. It's not going on. That's the thing. I'll, everyone will always say, we want the album. We want the album. I can't wait. I can't wait to listen to the album on repeat. The album. The album. And you go to all these bands that have great albums, by the way, and you just see the numbers. Everyone just listen to the singles. Like, it's sad. It's, 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 it's how it goes. One song, 10 million. One song, 10K. Literally, yes. Like, you'll see a song with 10 million streams, and then you'll see, like, a song on the album that wasn't a single, and it has 10,000 streams. And you might have, as a musician, given just as much love to that song with 10,000 streams. Maybe you even like that song more. Maybe you put more time into that song. It's wild. So, uh, again, my point being thrown, I don't, they don't need a record. They, they, they can just do this forever and grind and grind and grind a single video boom as long as as long as it's a banger every time then they just have this catalog of songs that everyone actually knows every song just a different era man throne doesn't have enough music to do with 25 minutes that i know that's actually really funny but congrats to throne 1.1 million monthly listeners on eight songs 17 17 or 18 minutes of music the fuck